It is 85 degrees inside my apartment today. It is colder outside, but our AC decided to kick the bucket and our maintenance man won't be back till Monday. How's your Friday going? Welcome to Friday. My name is Wholesome Vigilante, and most importantly, welcome to Half Baked Hashtags. Let me be your guide to Instagram stupid and irresponsible hashtags that people like to form these little communities around to make themselves feel better. Now, you're probably asking, what's today's hashtag? Today's hashtag of the day is haze. What is haze, you might ask? Well, that's health at every size. How swell is that? Alright, so the first post I have for you guys today is, I've got more important shit to do than to fit into some unrealistic standard of beauty so corporations can make even more money from my self-doubt. What corporations are making money off of the amount of vegetables and fruit I eat every day now? Now that I've decided to eat healthy and take care of my body, you know who's not getting my money? Nesco, Pepsi, Coke, the big corporations you're scared about, the ones that you don't want to give your money to so that your fat bodies can exist. But wait, that's, that's who you're giving your money to. Do you guys know that? Warning, reflections in this mirror may be distorted by socially constructed ideas of beauty. Hey Tumblr, stop putting stickers on my mirror. I'm trying to make sure there's not corn in my teeth before I go to work. Stop it. Tumblr shut down for a reason. Thin privilege is going to the gym without being stared at, harassed, or condescended to. So I guess in your world, women don't exist, the massive dude with tattoos on his face don't exist, and you've never met a lesbian that had to go to a public locker room. Because trust me, a lot of more people than fat people get stared at when they go work out. Sorry to break it to you. Why is my AC broken? It's so hot. The culture tells us that our bodies are projects to continuously be working on. The nerve of that culture. The culture of self-improvement. The culture of health. The culture of striving for more, to be more. It's just so mean. Why they gotta be mean? It's not very nice. Your body should be a project that you wanna work on. Don't you wanna get the most out of the thing that gives you life, that allows you to do your hobbies, to be with your family, to exist? I know I wanna work on it. I wanna make sure it's the best running machine I have. Is that not common sense anymore? What is the internet? Am I old? Help. You need to reevaluate your relationship with exercise if it's hard for you to take a day or two, or even a week, off from working out. Not everyone hates the gym. Not everyone hates working out. Some of us like it. I've grown to love the gym. I like hiking now, camping, rollerblading. I like physical activity. It brings me joy. And as a full-time college student, and a part-time employee, and being way closer to my 30s than I like to openly admit. I like getting that exercise in daily, and that's not a bad habit, it's not unhealthy. It's okay to push yourself. It's okay to work out and sweat a little. Raising your heartbeat is okay sometimes. Unless you have something seriously medically wrong with you, I promise a little workout probably isn't gonna kill you. I believe in you. Get out there. How dare you assume I'm trying to lose weight? The nerve of you. Feel bad about yourself. Well, Karen, I'm so sorry that you take other people's statements so personally. Meh. I will have to surrender to a bigger body if I want to live a bigger life. Now that's the thing in the Hayes community, is you're gonna find a lot of victim talk 
and not a whole lot of creator talk, which is a concept that you probably heard in high school psychology or college psychology. These people want to be victims. They want to blame the they want to blame the fact that they can't control their life, and if they give themselves up to it, it relieves them of responsibility. Well, it doesn't relieve you of responsibility. Work harder. I mean, yeah, you're gonna live a bigger life because you're gonna need bigger wheelchairs and bigger door frames and bigger chairs. I mean, if that's your thing, I ain't gonna kink shame you. But weird. We'll end this nonsense with Sophie Hagen, who I equate with Amy Schumer and Tess Holliday kind of crowd, if that gives you any idea. Sophie Hagen says, Fuck you, Jamie Oliver. She posted a picture explaining the price increase of this Coke that she bought and how it raises funds for a children's health fund within the UK. And for every 10 pounds, the children's health fund gets about 8.33 pounds, if I'm reading that right. I really don't know much about, like, pounds. I hope I'm using the right symbol. But anyways, you're that mad about a man trying to help the children of your country? Really? What do you do for the children of the country? Where's your fundraising? Where's your money making? Because I know you make a lot of money from your books, and I know you make a lot of money from your comedy sketches you do. What are you doing for the community, Sophie? Alright guys, that's all I had for you today under the Haze hashtag. Now trust me, there is plenty more out there, but that's all we got time for today. I have to get ready for a camping trip that I'm really excited about. It's my girlfriend's birthday, so we're gonna go out in the woods and just enjoy life. If you want more of this content, please like and subscribe. My name is Wholesome Vigilante. You can find me under the same name on Instagram. I just like being a part of the nonsense. Alright guys, if you have any topics, hashtags, anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below, and have yourself a good weekend.